जनरली होता है जेई स्टडीज के दौरान वी टेंड टू नेग्लेक्ट आर स्कूल स्टडीज शायद जेई का प्रेशर ज्यादा होता है इसलिए पर मेरे हिसाब से एकदम गलत है एसेंशियली स्कूल स्टडीज और जेई स्टडीज का सिलेबस तो सेम ही होता है सो इफ यू प्रिपेयर फॉर स्कूल ऑल्सो इट इज एनहेंस द परफॉर्मेंस ऑन दी यू हैव टू स्ट्राइक द राइट बैलेंस बिटवीन जेई एंड स्कूल स्टडीज एंड फाइनली आई वुड से डू नॉट इग्नोर योर स्कूल स्टडीज जस्ट for jee studies they both go hand in hand the most important thing is to identify your strengths and weaknesses as soon as you can your strengths this are basically decide your selection and your weaknesses decide your rank so you must identify your strengths and start working on them but do not leave your weaknesses cause as mentioned they decide your rank Now, do not get overconfident on your strengths. Otherwise, they may lead to your downfall. Uh, one more thing, what students used to do is like they leave out trivial topics. Do not do that, cause uh, questions from every topic are asked in J. So, to sum up, do not leave trivial topics and do not rely on selective studies. The J paper is different from state level examinations. in a way that it is not formula based it is much more conceptual so i would suggest that most students are in a dilemma whether to practice a lot of questions or to concentrate on quality based questions what i would say is that in the initial stages begin with practicing quality based questions questions which test your conceptual understanding in fact even though they may take more time they are those questions which spur you on to think beyond the formula remember one thing it is very important to practice questions which are theoretical not just numerical because these questions improve your fund they make them stronger however once you achieve maturity in a particular topic which you will of course after having practiced uh, after in fact having done some conceptual questions begin practicing a large number of good questions and this could be even done towards the end of your preparation in fact it will help you improve your aim uh, your accuracy as well as your speed and these two things are equally important in cracking the je examination as much as your conceptual understanding so best of luck for your je exam and that's it i believe the subjective pattern is also very important with regards to je and it helps you to develop a very strong fundamental base and gives you know how how to solve the problems in a systematic manner basically the problems that comes in je are also subjective problems there are more day to give objective look so if you know how to approach the problem in a systematic manner you can easily solve them as you know this year in j there were some subjective problems also so it will be a nice idea to mix the subjective and objective pattern to in your preparation so what i suggest is during your 11th standard you go for the subjective pattern and when you come in 12th you can go for the current j pattern wishing you your best of luck how to study efficiently Now, one important point that I would like to make here is keep your concentration levels optimal. Now, what what do I mean by keeping concentration levels optimal? Uh, sometimes what happens is that our mind wanders off somewhere else, and we end up flipping pages of our notebook. So, what that ends up is that basically that we have no knowledge of this topic we have studied, and while we end up in exams completely blank. So, one thing that used to help me in this is basically making notes. now making notes used to make me co concentrate at that very moment and also just before the exams i had something very handy to revise on now that was something important i felt another thing i felt was regularity is really important because more as concepts as well as applications of these concepts need to be cleared out as fast and as they are taught so i guess it is a must regularity and well yeah that's it best of luck for you 